Hi everybody, it's Robin. And isn't this card so adorable? I love it. Um, and I went to Hobby Lobby yesterday to get some inspiration for this upcoming craft fair because I was stuck on that last card I made. So, and I wanted to try to look outside the box, no pun intended, and I found these and I'm like, oh, perfect. So this one has four pieces in it and it was $1.50 since it was half price. So what a great embellishment. So I'm going to show you step by step on making this card. And what I did was I laid the, doo -doo -doo, I laid this down on here and put it in there and kind of measured it and then kind of drew my box around it so then on the blue I drew the box on there now the box is not 100% square there but once I start cutting that is gonna make it way more square So, and then I line this up with this line and cut to the next. And then I bought this new trimmer and I'm so glad I bought it because it's got a wire on it. And I love that. So then we want to line that up again. Okay, then I'm going to do some embossing and I'm going to use two colors, but I'm only going to do um, this silver a little bit here. Everybody knows how to emboss. So I just kind of pick and choose randomly places to stamp. We have all the silver um, snowflakes embossed. Do not put your silver away because you're going to need it for later for a couple things. So now I'm just going to um, fill in with some white uh, snowflake stuff just here and there. So just sporadically like that, let me get the white embossed and then I'll be right back. Embossing is done. Yay. Okay, I said not to put the silver away and this is the um, Ranger Super Fine Silver in your mark. And I have three brads that I need to emboss.
Isn't that fabulous? Yay. I love heat emboss. Okay, now we're going to put the vellum on, and I'm going to put a piece of clear plain and vellum, be vellum behind this one because it just needed a little extra. Um, and I want the blue to be able to show through a little bit. And then I always forget which side it has to go next. Okay, now I am going to, I used it, oops, excuse me, I used it, well, you know what, I'm still going to use adhesive. I'm just going to do it, I have my pop dots on already, and I kind of put some on there, and you can tell I'm going, just putting a little bit of the adhesive on like an eighth of an inch is what I'm doing. I can trim off what was gonna stick out and then I thought it was kind of cool to I just kind of flipped it over I'm sorry instead of trying to do neat corners I just did a flip so straighten it out and then kind of put your finger there at the corner And I'm going to just drop a tiny bit of hot glue there. Okay, I have this sitting because <clears throat> I'm going to add a little tiny piece of tape. I laid the um, Merry Christmas down at about where I'm, I'm wanting it. Um, I still want the string on there, so I wanted to tape the string down because the last time I didn't. And we got into a big fight. <laughs> so, I approximately kind of guessed where that's going to go. And I can still adjust it. So, and whoops, let's get in the picture here. Zoom in a little tiny bit. So now you want to line up your corners. You know, you want your top to meet complete. Looks pretty good. I'm going to use glossy accents to cover this. I mean to hold this down. I used uh, hot glue the last time and eh, I didn't like how it was going. The hot glue is sometimes hard to control. Um, I don't have a fine tip one. These are flowers from I Am Roses, and they are, I don't know, I think it's DQP 40-1, and then I sprayed them with scintillizing um, silver from Lindy Stamp Gang, and then I have my brad that I embossed, let's get those adjusted right. And then some hot glue on the back of the flower. 
This is a long video, I'm sorry, but I think it's really cool how this turned out. And then the poinsettia. Hot. It's hot. So, okay, now that we have the flower and everything on, we, I almost forgot to put the words on. I had the words only cut out in a silver paper, but they were not standing out enough. So I took each one of them and put embossed them with the silver that we had been using. Okay, and there it is. Isn't it cool? I just love it. So shimmery and shiny. So um, think outside the box when you're looking at all of the Christmas decorations. So thanks guys and have a super great weekend.